Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Alessandro aka the 3D Print Geek. If this is your first time me and you into 3D printing, photography and drones, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're talking about a mighty 3D printer today that can deliver multicolor prints and not only that, also some stuff that can mix color together and give you crazy, crazy results. Let's roll the intro first and let's talk about it. Before getting into the video, I would like to thank Artlist. It's my music repositories. All the links will be down in the description. Artlist with a small and very, very light subscription can give you access to thousands of files, sound, uh, sound effects, also videos with Artgrid and uh, you can use them and monetize them on YouTube without worrying that YouTube will send you that annoying emails saying you violated copyrights and blah 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 you know how that works so Artlist is my go-to and I thank them for the support and this great collaboration we have ongoing it's 2023 and this is my first proper video of the year even though it comes at the end of the month I have so many news. I've recently launched my website. All links will be down in the description, the3dprintgeek.com. I launched my merch, finally, jumper, my don't touch my nozzle 3D print geek t-shirt with the logo here in the back and cap. All the links for this merch will be down in the description. This website will talk about 3D printing in general. It will cover all my projects and everything I have ongoing with my life. Ladies and gentlemen, may I introduce you Mizar M dual extruder with double module, gradient and separated color. What does this printer have so special? What what makes it so special? Let's dive into some specs. While unboxing the Miseram, the first thought we have is that the printer is well packed and there is quality in the build. There is everything you need in the box and also a lot of spares and actually some filament. What I liked a lot about this is that there were a lot of nozzle and spare cables. That's something you don't find often in a budget 3D printer. It's heavy and feels of very, very high quality. You get really quickly that Gitec put a lot of thought and research in this printer. Very particular is a dual extrusion group that mounts on the x-axis and feeds from the top. The printer has a double z-axis that helps lifting all the extra weight that the dual extruder brings. Cable management though could have been handled a bit better but overall it's not bad. Lots of zip ties in the box can help you like you know set the cables to the best.
assembling the Mies RM was quite easy and fast. I used Gitech videos on YouTube that showed in details all the steps that you needed to follow to put it together. Miserem is extremely silent thanks to the 32-bit silent motherboard. Its bed is very well thought with this magnetic plate that is always a plus when talking about a budget printer. Print volume is 255 by 255 by 260, which is a decent size for any maker. It comes with a double filament detection, but remember, this will need to be activated after you put it together, because I don't know why it comes deactivated. Something I really, really liked is the quick belt fastener, which doesn't come often on uh, this quality price range printers. I found it really, really useful. I mean, you could adjust and it works great. After some specs, now let's get into what makes this Mizer M uh, an amazing printer. We have double extrusion modules, two different heads that worked that work in a very, very different way. We have the separated module, which can let you print with two independent colors and print stuff like this. Perfectly print Matterhacker filament mascot. And uh, the other head, which is the gradient color module, lets you print stuff like this. You start with a color and then using the gradient tool, you slowly shift to the second filament. And it's right up there. Azure Film Graphic Gray and Pistacchio Silk Green. Amazing filament from Azure. Azure is a brand I love. It's my go-to when I test printers. All links to purchase Azure film will be down in the description if you're asking yourself where you can buy it. Just follow the link. Hey, this is Alessandro from the future editing the video. If you want to buy Azure film filaments, all the links will be down in the description. Don't forget to use the code the 3D Print Geek 10. You will have a 10% extra discount on your checkout. While using the separated color module, something you need to bear in mind is that every time you start a print, before starting a print, you need to calibrate the extruder. They know they need to know exactly where the filament is so that the purge tower and uh, the color shift is, is well balanced. Uh, it's something I had to figure out. I also tried uh, with Prusa taking away completely the uh, the purge tower, but that didn't work a lot. I mean, it's a it's a hassle because at the end of the print, you're left with a lot of uh, waste, PLA wasted. But I mean, you want to have colorful and uh, like good results. That's what you have to do. Instead, using the merged. Uh, uh, gradient color mode which is currently installed something that you need to adjust and you do that in the menu is you set the height and you tell them okay at that height I want hundred percent that's what I did here on zero layer on the layer number zero I want a hundred percent graphite gray from Azure and then on the top let's say this was a hundred and 50 at 130 I said okay 130 you need to go the other way around so 0% graphite gray 100% pistachio and the gradient just holds the shift and does everything by itself I was testing this a lot before getting to a decent results but you just need to understand how to tune it you need to know how how high is your your print and just tell it to the gradient tool at what height you want the shift to start or at what height you want the filament to be switched 
totally. So that's a great tool and it opens space for creativity more than the dual color filament. I mean, everybody knows how dual color print works. I mean, it's nothing to get into detail. I only The only thing I can say is that it works really, really good. Some of the prints I've done, the first one I've done was this Pikachu that was directly printed from the SD card. This is a neon pink PLA from Azure. I mean, I love that color together with a mint uh, pastel color. This is the first piece I sliced myself of this panda that was on the SD. Two STLs were there. You need to merge them with Prusa slicer. And you know, this came out really nice as you can see. I mean, the aim of a dual extruder is usually to have prints that have dual color but i think i'm gonna use a lot the gradient tool one because i find that amazing i mean look at this look at this vase it started 100 percent uh pistachio uh silk and on the top i think that was a mint pastel so it goes from silk to matte finish and i mean this is one of a kind i mean you don't get these kind of results with uh, with a regular printer i mean that's another possibility that gitech is offering you on a dual extrusion printer this here is a whale whale that was sliced from uh, gitech and it was on the sd all pastel colors and came out brilliantly i only the only thing i find that wasn't working that good is that uh, purge towers on pre-sliced model are really, really wasteful. I mean, they were wasting a lot of film and making sure that if you see it, look at this, this is a, ooh, fell down. This is the waste tower for that whale. And not only is like tall as the whale, but it's like really hard. I mean, that's, a lot of waste i mean and i think and i what i did with prusa slicer i like you know i made it smaller i made the purge a bit less and it's working fine for me of course you can use this printer to do whatever you like i mean i printed out some keyring with my logo as you can see here they came out pretty decent i mean quality wise with the ironing uh, on the last layer came out really impressive and these are gadgets I could just hand over and give to my friends or I could even sell on my shop all oh, links in the description by the way of course this printer works great also with one, one single extruder I mean this is another matter hacker mascot here in a beautiful blue perla from azure the results are pretty impressive using only one extruder so i mean it doesn't lose the feature of a you know decent one singular extrusion printer so if you searching for a printer to start i mean this could be a great deal because you already have opportunities to like you know do creative stuff i mean i will think i'll use this printer a lot in my near future and i'm sure i'm gonna work and create another video with it because what i'm creating and uh, also my kids are uh, amazed to see what like you know color shifts and dual printer this is my first dual color printer that we have and i'm testing here of course i have my ultimaker s5 at work yeah of course it's work but this when you have at home it's like kind of different and when you think that the price of this printer is exactly the same of our regular uh, 3d printer it's currently 399 on gitex uh, website all links are down in the description would i suggest it to a beginner yeah i would suggest it to a beginner because i think that 
all you know the thinking that I had to do it's something that a beginner should start to learn yeah okay the probably the mounting of the dual extruder on the back on the e, on the x-axis is not something that you see every day but I'm sure that like once you figure out you will start working on it and you will enjoy it because it's really decent quality for what you're paying. I mean, it's not a pro uh, printer, but I mean, it's delivering and it's delivering really, really nice stuff. So of course, there's stuff I didn't like about this printer because I mean, got to this point, you're saying, you're asking yourself, I mean, does this printer have any issues? And yeah, I could list you some. First of all is cable management, even though you get a ton of zip ties, I think that cable management was hard to think also for them because having the dual extruder on the X axis, it was pretty hard to find the perfect fit. But I mean, uh, once you have a little bit of experience and you start testing it, what I did was I ran some prints out and I saw more or less how it was moving and I fixed all my ties, let's say at, at print number five or print number six, once I had the idea on how the structure was actually moving. So that's one of the things I didn't like. Second thing I didn't like is the filament sensor, guys. Filament sensors are there on both extruders, but once you put it together, you need to activate it from the menu. I mean, it's the first time I have to activate a filament sensor. Usually they always active themselves, like they do, they, are, they plan to start the printer and they're active. If you don't want it, you deactivate it. I didn't know that. And I ended up with a fail. Filament finished here, but the print did, didn't stop. I mean, it went on and on and on trying to print, but filament wasn't there. So last thing I would like to mention on the thing that could have been done better, it's the dual extrusion on the X axis. It's work, it works fine. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a bit hard to understand how to put it together. Also from the video, that's not really clear, but you end up figuring that out. I'm afraid that with time, the weight of the two motors of the extruder will be too much, even though we have double Z axis, which gives it strength. But I'm scared that on the long run, you know, it could, you know, probably make the Z motors work too much. Probably my concern, probably that's not a problem and they've tested out. I'm just giving you my opinions on um, on this printer. Overall, I mean, I'm really, really happy. The three things I've listed that I didn't like, it's tough, you can work around, but nonetheless, the, the printer delivers amazing results, as you saw. That was all for today, guys. I mean, I really hope you enjoyed this blast of a 3D printer. I mean, I'm enjoying it a lot and I'll continue using it over time because I'm in love with that. And I'm not saying that just because Gitech sent me a sample for free. I'm saying that genuinely because it's a, it's a, it's a, like, it's a real good, really good bargain for the price. I mean, again, 399 euros for a dual uh, color printer for the gradient head and so many spares which I loved a lot that usually don't come in on a 3D regular printer on this budget regular printer. So that was all for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. Smash the like button if you did like the video. Subscribe if you're not yet subscribed and I'll see you guys on the next video. Hopefully very soon.